first guest tonight is a highly versatile performer. He's the consummate showman and the consummate snowman, too. He plays a single dad dating a lady werewolf on the new series, Wolf Like Me. It's on Peacock now. Please say hello to Josh Gad. <laughs> I'm good. It's good I'm to good. see you. It's good to see you. I I don't fit in this suit, Jimmy. I'm realizing oh, no, that really? too late. Yeah. What happened? You? Uh... Well, I, I I'm fat, uh, <laughs> and so it's a it's a problem because I was like, oh yeah, this looks good, and then I sat in it, and not so much. Do you, would you be more comfortable standing through the interview? Yeah, I would. As a matter, <laughs> slimming. Yeah. Ask me anything. I'm ready. Uh, no, no, this is good. I was thinking about you because um, Frozen, as I've told you in the past. Yeah dominated our household um, in large part thanks to you as Olaf, the beloved snowman. Thank and, you. Thank and, you. Uh, and it's great and everything, but to the point where it's driving us insane. Yeah. And now um, th it has been replaced, I'm, I am may be sorry to report, or maybe you're happy to hear this, I don't know, by Encanto, which is uh, yeah. a phenomenon. And I'm wondering, because you have two young kids, yeah. if this is occurring in your house, too. Yeah, it's a big problem. It is. Uh, so I didn't get what you all meant by it's enough with let it go. I understand now. Because <laughs> I've got two girls, and every day in the house, it's this. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. <laughs> and it's like, I, 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 I understand now. I'm ashamed. I'm sorry you did that. It's, I'm sorry. But it's, it's a phenomenon. Yeah. And, and I keep like, it's like, you know, when you have people who are addicted to cigarettes, they say, well, give them like 50 cigarettes and they'll quit. So I've tried that with We Don't Talk About Bruno. Oh, interesting. But it only seems to make them stronger like the Sith. Like they don't, they, they're not, I was hoping it would make them sick of it. <laughs> it's making them stronger. <laughs> it's really upsetting. It's a weird thing about kids when they like something, they just That's cannot it. get it. They have no regulator on them whatsoever. No, no, no. But we need to stop talking about talking about Bruno. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've come over to this side. I've come over. I'm with you. You were on a, a very, very I funny. I do not fit in this suit, Jimmy. <laughs> as long as you fit in the chair, we're OK. <laughs> <laughs> the um, we uh, I I love the show Curb Your Enthusiasm and I loved your episode of that show. How did how did it happen? How did you wind up on the show? Because that's kind of I think for me personally, it's like it's something that you always kind of hope they'll ask you to do, and then when they do ask you to do it, it's great, it's right? Great. And I remember you being on it. And, I was and, on and, it, yeah, yeah. Outstanding. And I, I'm the biggest Larry David fan, so you can imagine getting a call from Larry. So Larry called you Larry personally. called me, uh -huh. uh, because he, apparently he doesn't have people who do that for him. So mm -hmm. he called me, and he goes, Josh, I want you to come and do uh, an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. And I said, I would love to. At that point, I didn't qualify for the vaccine. And so I was a little nervous about doing it. I hadn't worked. And he says, he literally says to me, Josh, the median age on our show is 75. You're going to be just fine. <laughs> and so I went and I did it. Uh, but there was a, a bit of a hiccup that I haven't spoken about publicly. And I'm a little embarrassed about this. I had a neck ache that morning. Oh. And I, oh, thank you. <laughs> so sympathetic. Your, your um, family so, is here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Uh, and so I, uh, I took two Advil, three Advil that morning before going to work. And I, I got to set, and they're all talking to me, and I just hear them like, and I'm like, something's not right. And I called my wife and I'm like, can you take a look at the bottle next to the bed? And she goes, yeah, what, what do you need to know? I go, well, what's on it? She goes, Advil. And I go, thank God. And she says, PM. <laughs> I took three Advil PM. That's bad, yeah. And shot an episode of Curb Your oh. Enthusiasm. Well, it didn't affect your performance <laughs> at all. Or maybe it did, I don't know. It, it did. I mean, <laughs> it did. I was not there that day. Uh, but I had the best time. Larry is a consummate professional. 
uh, and I wore a, a really interesting costume. Yeah, we have a clip here, and now this is kind of the, the plot of the show. The premise yeah. of this episode was that you played a chiropractor. That was a great chiropractor. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's always that, right? Uh, and, and, but the, there was a little problem <laughs> with your uh, personal attire. <laughs> And remember, the key is you don't want to push too hard, okay. just enough to make it work. Uh, here. Yeah, let's go with this bad boy. <laughs> so then Larry. <laughs> Larry talks so, to you about it, and, yeah. and you're suddenly. That's a worse look than this suit, right? Now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, no, so. <laughs> Did yes. you discuss that particular part of it? Like <laughs> yeah, he said, he said, I, I have an idea. And I go, okay, great. And then they, the costumer came with three pairs of that underwear to my room, which was really upsetting. Cause I'm like, <laughs> what do you expect to happen in the first pair that I'll need another two <laughs> pairs? Um, so I was, I was a little confused. Uh -huh. And then because I was on drugs without my permission, I got, a letter from my lawyer months later, and you get like writers when you do TV and film, you get writers about certain things. And they sent me a nudity writer <laughs> about, and it like basically issued a, a notification of how many inches of ass I was permitting them to show on camera. Oh. And I'm like, did I do an episode of Euphoria that I forgot about? <laughs> What exactly is happening here? <laughs> it's not all glamorous. Did you get to keep those underwear? No, I didn't. I don't want those underwear. Oh. I, I never want to see them again. Oh. Guillermo, I got you a present. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> you got them from Larry. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, you know, yeah, if you want to put yeah. these in the living room or what, but oh, enjoy. Yeah. That's for you, buddy. Thanks, thank for, you, thanks for all the great years. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Josh Gad is here. His show is called Wolf Like Me. We'll take a look at that when we come back. Who put on that song? I don't know. Did you just put on the song? I've been sitting here with you. Um, I need to go. Did I do something wrong? I feel no, like I just feel like this is, um, I shouldn't have put myself in this situation. What situation? I haven't day drunk in a really long time, so. I don't think it's day anymore. Really? What time is it? After six. <gasps> Late for her transformation into a wolf, which is, you know, I assumed when I, because I saw the billboard for this show first. Yeah. I assumed it was a parody of, uh, I didn't know you, like you guys were really going for no, it. No, we really went for it. Yeah. It is discernibly not a parody. It is, uh, it, it's so interesting because they said, they kept telling us, don't let people know what it's about. And I said, you guys named it Wolf Like Me. <laughs> Um, so I, it's been hard it's a keeping really the good secret. Point. Yeah. It's been hard keeping the secret, but here we are. The show is really, it's a brilliant, it's a brilliant metaphor for the idea that love is messy. It's love is scary. And Abe Forsyth, this amazing Australian director who directed me in Little Monsters that I did with Lupita Nyong'o. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, same person who was sad for me before. <laughs> I'm taking you everywhere I go. I love you, ma'am. Uh, so, <laughs> so we, Isla and I just read the script and we were obsessed with it. I went to Australia for three months and the show is, it's got a mix of everything. It, it's dramatic, it's scary, genuinely scary. It's hilarious and it's just, it's full of humanity. Have you thought of writing it's scalarious on the um, thing or it's not scary? Not until now. Yeah. But surprisingly, I, mean, I don't do marketing for Peacock, so yeah. I don't know why I would write that. I think you could help them though. I think you Watch should just Watch Wolf Like Me. It's scalarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to just chip in, you know? And we also get to hear you sing, which is always a treat, because you really do have a very Thank nice you. voice. And the song you sang is a song I happen to love very much, which is Don't Dream It's Over by Crowded House. The best. And it, was that your choice? That was my choice. I, he sent me a song. There was a song in the script that didn't quite feel right. And the song's got to pack emotion, but it can't feel corny. And I was listening through a bunch of songs, and then I stopped on this one. And 
And it just, I want you to sing it with me right now, because I kind oh, of- Oh, well, you don't want that, baby. I love that you're saying, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There is freedom, freedom within, within. And there is freedom, freedom without. without. Try to catch a deal, you did in a paper, paper cup. cup. Well, I don't know what that means, but- I don't either, but try then to... it gets to that chord. Hey now, hey now, don't you? I mean, it's just so good. Yeah, it's better when you sing it. What the hell is that song about? There is freedom within. within. There's freedom without. Without. Try, try to, to catch, catch the, the deluge in a paper cup. I, it couldn't be simpler, Jimmy. What's, what are you having problems with? <laughs> I mean, I never picked through that oh, song. Oh, the song is scalarious. <laughs> Very well done. See that? You should be doing marketing for Peacock. You missed your calling. I know. I really <laughs> tell him while you're doing the marketing for Peacock, tell him to change the name from Peacock because it's ridiculous. I, well, I, can't, I can't comment because they'll fire me. <laughs> <laughs> that could be their slogan. Peacock, formerly known as Peacock, before we fire Josh Gad. <laughs> Well, congratulations on, on the show. The show is called Wolf Like Me. Um, now you know what it's about. It's on Peacock. We don't know what that's about. But Josh Gad, yeah, thanks, Josh. We'll be back with Anna Klemski. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Oh, oh, oh.